Steve. Second. Sorry. Elizabeth, how nice to see you again. Nice to see you. And congratulations on your performance in Leaving Las Vegas. Oh, My you. goodness. I just, I, I was really devastated by it. And mm -hmm. I think one should be devastated by this film. But at the same time, uh, in such admiration and awe mm -hmm. of the performance that you give and of Nicolas Cage's performance mm -hmm. as well. I'm curious to know what you were like at the end of the day, mm -hmm. especially the really tough scenes, the really, well, the rape scene and some of the others. Well, I was emotionally drained, which um, was kind of a given um, because of the work that we were doing. But there was also a kind of calmness that I felt each day because if you're that close to your emotions, um, there's a certain honesty that you're living each day. And, it, and it, I, kind of, I kind of miss that, that everyday feeling of being that heavy and close to your emotions. And I miss, I miss the film for that reason. It's, it's, you know, we spend so much time of our life trying to be happy and, and it's nice to go through an experience like that where you really just get to feel um, those deeper emotions consistently. Would you be able to shake it off from one day to the next? Not entirely, which actually helped. I mean, if you, it, would it would take so much effort to get back in there each day if that were true. It kind of just stayed with you because our pace was so fast. Um, you know, it was only 28 days that we shot. So uh, that was really helpful. Have you ever known anyone like your character or Nicholas's character? Yeah, I think I've known a lot of people like them. And uh, just knowing Nick and uh, knowing the parts of myself that I understood that were similar to the parts of this character um, made me realize that we're, none of us are really that far away from those characters, that, that you know, given a few different turns in your life, um, you, could, you could sink in, into that world very easily. And I, I learned and respected people in that world through a lot of compassion after experiencing it. Many people will look at the film and look at your character just maybe on the surface. And they'll say, well, she knew he was a drunk. Why did she take up with him? Why did she stay with him? Why did she put herself through that? I think I know why, or mm -hmm. at least for myself. But I, I'd like to hear your answer. Well, I think she needed him. She needed to take care of somebody. Um, she needed that kind of purpose in her life. Um, and she needed that tenderness of love that he gave her that she had never experienced in her life. And. Uh, their love for each other was so simple and uh, in that way very profound and ultimately it's what's going to elevate this movie beyond its darkness I think is to see these two people come to each other raw without anything but need. Elizabeth, do you consider this the best role you've ever had? <laughs> yes, obviously by far it's the best role that I've ever had, the best experience that I've ever had. I mean every experience is different that you have but this one I think will be my most special. Were you surprised when it was offered to you? Um, well, I, uh, I met with Mike a few times and uh, I was very hopeful that he would have faith in me without having to prove it to him and I never did. I never read for him and uh, I was just so lucky that he had that kind of faith in me and I realized what a gift he gave me by giving me this role because it is an incredible role and a lot of people would have loved to have done this this role, and it's hard for actresses to find good roles, and so it was pretty special that I got that opportunity. Were you always confident that you could pull it off? Mm-mm. No. No, but I felt so ready that I almost didn't care. It was like beyond whether I could do it or not. I really feel like I needed it. I needed to do this role, um, and uh, so I, I had no reservations, none. And were there some days that it was just difficult for you to get where you wanted to go? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, you'd get ready for an emotional scene and your emotions would just suddenly leave you and you'd feel kind of cold. And uh, Mike would say, you know, and I'd say, well, I want, I want to get, I want to be able to do it like the last time. And he'd say, well, you know, maybe, maybe you should need to let that go and, and let a new emotion come through. 
And so it just became a real process of being open. And, uh, and he really helped me a lot in keeping me open. Had you ever played a hooker before? No, no, no. And I really believe in a lot of ways that, yeah, I, I did play a hooker, but I totally um, trusted that I was playing a human being first and that, that it, she happened to be a hooker, but it, I didn't ever look at it like, I'm playing a hooker, you know, because I, I think that's a dangerous way of looking at any character. Well, it is a beautiful performance. Aww. It's just a, an amazing performance. Aww. And uh, well, thank you I think, very much. I think marvelous things are going to happen for you as a result of this. Aww. Well, thank you. Good to see you again. Good Mr. to see you. And do come back to Texas to see us. I will. My producer misses you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Say hello to David. <laughs> Hi, David. Hi, David. <laughs> thank you. No problem.